What's going on, everybody? So, due to all the stuff that's going on in the household uh, over the last week and this week here, I didn't have much time to get uh, new videos recorded. So, we're going to take a look at one of my trucking videos from back in 2015, and uh, hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 from back in September of 2015. So, uh, yeah, take a look and hope you enjoy. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Jibba73 here on the Double E Show. Going to be doing some Euro Truck Simulator. You can see it! So, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to do a quick trip. Uh, we're going from uh, Manchester, England to Liege in Germany. We're bringing uh, 21 tons of empty pallets. And uh, today is just going to be a conversation day. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that's been going on with the stream. <clears throat> And one can only hope that my volume is uh, greater than uh, the game volume because uh, I'm uh, I'm actually using Gamecaster today. I figured I'd give it a shot and see uh, see how it goes. So uh, let's get underway. Um, so if you if you've been following the YouTube channel, you know uh, I missed a couple of days of videos, uh, partly because I was. Um, getting ready for a surgery that I was supposed to have yesterday and um, I did not get that surgery done and that's uh, that's mostly because of a procedural error between the the surgeon's office and myself um, and because of that I was unable to have the procedure done yesterday even though I spent five hours in pre-op and uh, getting ready for it and all that other stuff and then in the end it got rescheduled and when you see this video uh, it should be it should be Tuesday today uh, this coming Friday I'll be having the surgery so uh, you know it, it is what it is things happen things come up but it, the surgery is probably uh, coming about 10 years too late <laughs> Uh, but I'm finally uh, forcing myself to get it done. Uh, I've talked myself into it. I've made, uh, I've, I've taken great pains to psych myself up for it. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where uh, I wanted for a long time to to let medicine do its trick, and the medicine isn't doing its trick anymore. But I spent all this past week. Uh, prepping for a surgery that was supposed to happen actually was supposed to happen last Thursday so I'm actually recording this earlier so I'm trying to think of these dates and times in my head um, don't oh you did you son of a um, but anyways uh, yeah the the end result is um, I didn't have the surgery done and I put a lot of stuff off to prepare for the surgery and, uh, and didn't get it done. Um, and so I'm behind on a lot of stuff. Uh, I didn't do any streaming. Um, ooh, good, I beat that red light. I didn't do any streaming or anything like that over on Twitch. Um, I basically uh, was trying to get all my household chores done and trying to get all the, or, uh, the, the small projects I could out of the way uh, so that my wife wouldn't have to do them while I was under the knife or in recovery because the surgery is going to take surgery is going to be like an hour hour and a half um, the recovery is going to be uh, four days in the hospital uh, it's going to be two weeks approximately including the hospital time uh, before I can sit up so I won't be able to sit at my desk to make videos and things like that it'll be another four weeks after that before I, I am completely uh, healed up. Now, that's a big deal. That means that that's six weeks before I'll be able to get back into the swing of everything. And that's a long time. That's a long time for somebody who's used to doing a little something something every single day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. So that's that's why you haven't seen uh, as many videos. I, I did do some pre-recorded stuff. 
uh, which I'll talk about now with, uh, with Case Gaming. We, we're playing Civilization Multiplayer. Uh, we're right at the beginning stages of it. Uh, the action will pick up sooner rather than later. But yeah, we're, we, you know, we're, we're trying something out with that. He plays a, a variety of different games that I don't play. I play a bunch that he doesn't play. And uh, Civilization V being an older title, but still, uh, still very strategic and, and a lot of fun. Uh, something that we can do in our spare time together and then put out videos on. Those, those are getting recorded and those will be, uh, I'll put them out in advance. I'll schedule them to release every Friday here on the channel. So, you know, if you like them, you'll, you'll see a new one every Friday. And I'm going to try to get some, since I, I, I wasn't prepared for it, and now I have another week to prepare, or from the day of this video, I have another three or four days to repair, prepare. I am going to do the very best I can to record a bunch of content ahead of time, so that way there are still videos releasing on Tuesday as well. Um, so that means in the next couple days, I'm going to be doing a complete another game fest. Don't know how the wife's going to feel about that. But I am, I am going to do my, my level best to uh, have content uh, consistently while I can't be at my desk. And then as soon as I can, I'll do another channel update and, uh, and record some new content. Because I like gaming, I enjoy gaming, um, but I also enjoy feeling good. And I really haven't in a very long time. It's been a very long time since I have felt 100%. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, mid-high school years, seriously, it's been a long time. I'm an older dude. It's been a long time since I felt good. So, that being said, hopefully this will make me feel good. Um, and that I can do more, uh, be more active, and uh, which would, you know, mean that I can, I can also do... I can be more productive in the gaming and more productive in the video production and uh, instead of spending a bunch of money on prescriptions uh, <laughs> I can I can start taking that money and putting it in broadcasting because um, I tried recording this uh, this video a little bit earlier and uh, in regular XSplit and the frame rate was just awful and like even now uh, I have a pretty good setup it's not a fantastic setup but it's a pretty good setup and I'm only pushing about 20, 23 frames a second. And I'm hoping, because in Gamecaster there isn't a preview uh, window, I'm hoping that this uh, looks fantastic. But I have no idea, and I'll have no idea until uh, I'm done uh, with the delivery and I end the recording. And uh, yeah, I have no idea what will happen. So, here's hoping. Here's hoping that it all looks good. And uh, that it sounds good and that the levels are good. I should have done a test run, but you know what? Uh, I, I wanted to get into the game. I didn't want to do the message all over again. I didn't want to talk about all the health stuff over and over again. Uh, many of you probably don't care. <laughs> uh, here's the key. Uh, I have Crohn's disease. When I was diagnosed with it over a decade ago, there were, there were only like a million people uh, that were diagnosed with it. It wasn't widely known. Now, out of a population of like 370 million people, that's not a great number. Since I've been diagnosed, every single person I run into knows somebody who has it, which means that the diagnosis is either growing or people are misinterpreting uh, one disease for another. Because I get a lot of people that go, oh, he's got colitis? No, I don't have colitis, I have Crohn's. It's different. Oh, you have uh, IBS? No, I have an IBD. It's different. Uh, oh, oh, uh, is that like diverticulitis? No, it's not. Here's the thing, there's no cure. There's no cure for this. I don't have a cure for this. Even what I'm doing now with this surgery isn't going to guarantee that it doesn't come back because it will come back it's always going to be in my system I'm never getting rid of it um, so even though we're cutting out the, the bad parts right now uh, it's going to come back in other bad parts and there's nothing I can do about that oh come on I tried to pull out the wrong gear 
Yeah, so the bad parts will return. And it's to how soon or how far out they'll return. Whereas with some of these other diseases, um, they can be put in permanent remission. Uh, they can be eradicated entirely. That's a big deal. And that's a huge, that's a huge difference. Uh, between the, the, the several different irritable bowel diseases there are. I'm not saying I'm worse off than anybody else. But I'm, uh, but I'm saying that I, I know my situation. I have been studying my situation for over a decade. Uh, I probably know more about this disease than some of the surgeons who are graduating college now who went into internal medicine only because I've watched its development. Now, some people have all the symptoms of it. They don't know they have it. I didn't know I had it. I was suffering with it for probably 15 years, 20 years maybe, before I even got diagnosed because I just didn't know the symptoms. To me, I had stress. Uh, I thought maybe I was getting an ulcer. That stuff happens. And a lot of the symptoms are very similar to, to stress. I was dealing with uh, a high stress job. I had a uh, high stress family situation going on at the time. And, uh, and the reality is, I didn't know. I didn't know something more serious was going on. And by the time I got diagnosed, it was bad. It was really bad. Don't hit the wall. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, and, and from that point, I, I kind of muddled through and struggled on and tried to figure out what I could do and had to stop working because it was killing me. And, yeah, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that, that, uh, that happens when uh, your doctor says, uh, stop working or you're going to die. Um, you have to make a lot of life decisions, and many of them aren't popular with uh, with people. And uh, yeah, you know, because stress aggravates all the all the uh, the conditions, it uh, it makes it worse for you. And because of that, uh, you can't deal with a lot of stressful things. And then when you have people throwing stress at you, <laughs> you're like, well, hell, what do I do now? Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've been dealing with this for a long time, and it's, it's finally time I'll get some relief, and I'm hoping that I feel better afterwards, because there's so many things that I want to do. Uh, I would love to get back to work. I'd love to get a job again. Uh, I'd love to feel like a productive citizen once again. And it's not like I didn't work for 25 years and pay into the system, and I don't deserve the benefits that I've received that have allowed me to actually get medically taken care of. But at the same time, uh, I, I don't feel useful. And that's a lot of, that's a lot of things that, that, th that happens to a lot of people. There are an awful lot of people who get depressed and, and, and feel bad because they can't do what they used to do and they feel unproductive and they feel like, uh, like they're not contributing. Can't get the engine brake to work without it scrolling left. I'm trying to hit my uh, key binding and uh, use the the uh, or excuse me the the, the retarder, and uh, it ain't working. <laughs> All right, heading back over to Calais from Felix or from Folkestone. <clears throat> Hopefully that horn wasn't too loud in your ears. But anyways, um, there's a lot of people that that uh, that continue to work because they just don't want to feel unproductive. And, um, and it costs them their lives. And it literally costs them their lives. I, I know people, I've met people that had Crohn's disease, continued working, and they're no longer with us. I met them in Crohn's disease support groups. And um, it's a sad thing. So I thought that I'd be better off being alive, so I followed the doctor's orders. And that's not always a popular thing. Uh, put me in a great deal of debt. It's taken me a long time to climb out of that. Uh, and I'm still not there. And I've been dealing with it for, for uh, over... Well, I've been sick for... Uh, Full-on sick for 14 years. Um, I've been dealing with... Um, 
getting treated for it for 12 years and uh, I've been I've been out of work for that that length of time that's a long time to not feel productive actually I, it's not yeah it's, it's just it's right about 12 years yeah it's it's just it's just it's, it's, it disgusts me to think that um, I couldn't there wasn't anything earlier than this and there still isn't anything that that provides good relief to somebody who has a severe uh, form of this disease uh, everything is uh, temporary even the surgery and because of that going this way and I pulled right out because I gave a, a quick look around the corner before I came up to it but normally I would have stopped there at the stop sign um, but yeah I mean even the surgery is just temporary it's temporary relief there's there's not much I'm gonna be able to do uh, about it coming back except uh, when I when I start to notice that things are changing in my body to make sure that I get to the doctor right away which I've learned to do I've learned to do that I've learned to pay attention to the medical stuff and to make sure that I'm uh, aware of what's happening inside me <laughs> it's a tough thing anyways enough of the medical stuff that's what's been going on that's why I have been very active on the on the channel and uh, that's why I have been streaming um, but that's gonna change and there'll be more collaboration games I'm, I'm really hoping that um, there'll be more collaboration games with uh, case gaming and I not just uh, not just civilization but we'll have to find out what we have together I know we both own payday 3 and that's always been a fun game for me to uh, to tinker around with because I don't know how to play it well at all I just mash keys and try to make it through the mission and I think that'd be something fun for uh, him and I and, and maybe a couple of our buddies who have it to get together and do but we'll see what happens uh, you know I also want to look at some of the new uh, the new indie games and start trying to get more indie games I'm a I'm a strategy guy I like strategy games I like simulation games and, uh, and most importantly um, I like city builder style games a lot but there's a lot of stuff out there that's uh, that's really good that I'm not really paying attention to like my driving here and because of that uh, I'm missing out on some good quality indie game stuff and uh, you're missing out on good quality content because when I when I break a game I break it I break it good Yeah, there, there, my 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 uh, exhaust brake worked. That means that uh, I was able to slow down without uh, without actually losing too much momentum. Whereas when you apply the brakes, you lose a ton of it. I got to pay attention to the GPS. I don't want to miss out on it. I keep forgetting I have the the, the large GPS turned off uh, using a mod, so that I'm using the in dash GPS, and I forget to look over at it. So anyhow, this is this is what we got going on. I'm using Gamecaster to record the video. I'm hoping the quality is better. It looks like it's running a little sharper. It's really hard to tell because I don't get a preview window. Uh, I am looking at the stats of the recording. Uh, it's looking like it's laying it down pretty good. We will see. Uh, let's see how much time we got left in the trip. Uh, actually, we've got four hours to get there. Uh, I'm, I'm running ahead of schedule, which is awesome. Actually, gonna bump my speed up a notch. Uh, it's 56 speed limit. I can do 58. That's in miles per hour. Uh, again, using a mod to uh, uh, convert everything over to U.S. measurements. Uh, the in-game has its own. You can you can turn it to miles per hour. But uh, I use a mod to convert everything: dollars, gallons, tons, all that stuff. Because they don't know metric that well. You're right. You're right. The rest of the world, the the Americans, you don't use the metric system like everybody else, and we're all morons or whatever you want to call us. But you know what? It's what we know, and and, and so be it. You know, I don't go over to your country or sit in my country and go, "How dare you use the metric system, you retards!" You know, uh, why do you throw useless U's and E's into your words, uh, you? motherfuckers I don't do that 
Um, so why does everybody have to trash on me? I mean, I love other countries. I love other cultures. I love other geographic locations. Why does everybody automatically lump everybody in the United States into the moron group just because there are some morons here? You know what? There's morons in your country as well. Doesn't matter what country you're from, there's morons. I know this. I know this to be fact. Um, I watch the news. And not just my news, I watch world news. I watch PBS news and BBC news and, and you know, I am fairly informed about what's going on in, in the world because the world affects me and I affect the world. We all do. So, yeah. Anyways, I got on a rant. Holy crap. Uh, one of the guys that I watch uh, fairly regularly for the Euro Truck stuff anyways is uh, Full Tilt. He's a nice guy. Um, very opinionated. And that's, that's absolutely fine to have an opinion. Um, and sometimes his opinion matches mine completely. And sometimes it doesn't. But it, it does match mine where it comes to, I'm American, this is my channel, I like things a certain way, you don't have to like them that way, it's not your channel, go elsewhere. And uh, that's the way he kind of believes in things, and that's kind of the way I believe in things. I mean, you know what, if you don't like the content or you don't like how it's laid out or presented, you, there are a bazillion, I think that's an actual number now, other channels that you can go to to get your content. Um, I'd prefer if you gave me a shot, check mine out, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, it's, so it's just about a little less than three hours in game time to get there. I am all over the road. I am not a good, when I drive, I'm usually very quiet and focused. So I am all over the place, talking, uh, gesturing with my hands, taking my hands off the steering wheel. Yeah, it's awful, 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 awful. Okay, I got a turn coming up here, so... Nope, you're getting cut off, and you got dinged by my trailer. That's what you get for trying to slip in beside me, you tool. Who taught you? Who taught you to sneak up on the side of a truck? Anywho. Uh, a little less than three hours in game to get there. Uh, the, oh, man, I'm dragging the guardrail, you son of a... I haven't given you any third-person perspectives in the game yet. I have, oh, man, I am awful just talking away. Uh, probably got about, like, a little less than ten minutes left to get there. Uh, probably closer to five minutes. All right, let me do eight. There we go. There's eight coming. I'm taking up two lanes. There we go. There's the truck. All right. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to get an outside view. I needed a long straightaway. And generally that does happen after an on-ramp. There's usually a section of straight. I find that to be pretty common in, in uh, most of uh, the European roads that, that are laid out in, uh, in SCS's iteration of Europe. Uh, let's see, how am I doing on sleep? Okay, I got four and a half hours before I got to sleep, and I only get two and a half hours before I get there, so doing good, because I'm ahead of schedule. Ahead of schedule is always good. Oh, goodness, there's the home phone. I'm going to go ahead and mute that, because, well, you know, I'm not answering the phone. Now, it's, it's, uh, it's... It's from the city that my wife works in, uh, uh, so it's probably her. <laughs> so I'll call her back in a moment when we finish up this trip and I finish up my discussion here. Listen, if you guys know of any good games or, or there's a couple of good indie games and whatnot that you've played, you'd like me to check out. Like I did Project Zomboid, which I thought was a pretty good little demo. There we go. Screwed that up hardcore. Oh, did I ever screw that up hardcore. Okay, getting back over. No, no, don't you cut out. I'm getting out of your way. I apologize. I was a douche. Um, anywho, uh, I did Project Zomboid demo. I thought that was fun. Uh, 
not my style game. I mean, I, I, I didn't mind playing it and stuff like that, but I, I, I don't see myself enjoying the game enough to go out and actually, you know, pick it up and play it. But it was, it was fun to play. I mean, you know, it would be one of those ones that I could pass time with, but uh, I wouldn't get engrossed in it. Um, not in the way that the game developer would probably want you to get engrossed in it, you know, with the, you know, going through the whole story of it and building up defenses and, and all that crap that was uh, laid out in the tutorial, or the demo, I mean. So, yeah, I mean, games like that, it, you know, if it's, if it's uh, free or cheap, let me know, because I am cheap and I like free stuff. So, free and cheap, let me know. I'll check it out. If it isn't free, but it is cheap, I'll try to pick it up. And if it's not cheap, I'll wait for it to go on sale. But, uh, yeah, put your suggestions in the comments. I mean, I, I'm always looking for new stuff. Uh, better yet, uh, if you see a game and you, you got a game video or something like that, uh, go to the Facebook group, go to the Facebook page for the Double E Show, uh, drop, a, drop a video, and, and I can see what it looks like. And, and if it piques my interest, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. By the way, if you've got a YouTube channel yourself, go to the Facebook group and the Facebook page for the Double E Show and share it. You know, let everybody know that you game too. This is a community. Uh, Cutting over. See, I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy talking. And that's why they say you should pay attention to the road. They say that. I think it's even in your driver's education. Pay attention to the road. I'm also driving with just one hand. I got one hand on the, uh, the shifter. Here's the thing. I got a 600 horsepower engine. I'm pulling 21 tons. That guy just flew up on me. Bite my ass, you jackass. Um, and it seems like it's really not pulling it well. Let me go back to number eight here. I'm guard railing it. Yep, I freaking knew that was going to happen. I'm guard railing it. All right, now let's go back to number eight. There we go. Cutting off the Coca-Cola truck. All right. What the hell? Yeah, but it, it feels like it's struggling to pull. And, I, and I'm not quite sure why it would struggle to pull. Yeah, see... I, I knew it wouldn't take very long. We got, uh, we got, oh, under an in-game hour. I am all over the place. I got to stop. <laughs> I'm just all over the road. I keep hitting the fucking sleepy strips on the side, hitting the guardrail to take video. I wonder what my damage level is. Oh, yeah, I'm just beating the shit out of my cargo. It's pallets, but watch. They'll ding me for it, even though it's wooden pallets. Oh. So I'm hoping after next week and after the, the you know, being laid up uh, from the surgery and stuff like that, I'm hoping I'll have a ton more energy. Uh, when you have more energy and you're not in pain, you tend to have more focus. And then, you know, maybe I can, you know, make better content and uh, create better videos instead of just uh, slapping them together, uh, trying to get them out there so you guys can see me uh, shoot the shit and try to have fun. Um, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Be coming into town here very shortly. I have a feeling I'm going to get over one lane because I don't know why. I think it's, it would have squeezed me out. See? I don't like this European stuff. They don't have any turn off lanes. If you're in the right lane and there's an exit coming up, that's the exit. So it's the world's longest exits, basically. Coming over start slowing down. Twenty-five is the ramp speed. I got it down to nineteen by accident. Let me turn off that signal. All right, 
coming into town. It says 56. No, it only says that because I'm going under the overpass. I don't think the speed limit right here is 56. It can't be. It can't be 56 here. We're almost in town. So the delivery is just up the way here. Uh, let's take an outside look at the truck. Nice Coca-Cola skin. I love this T800. I really do. Alright, back in the cab. That's the way you take a turn with a tractor trailer. So I'm thinking uh, down the road I might do um, I might do some uh, quick trips where I don't necessarily go all the way to the destination, but I I'll stop at a rest stop, you know, and break up the trip. Uh, maybe maybe find some good indie tunes that aren't copyright copyright copywritten and. Uh, you know, play some tunes, chat a little bit, talk about updates and, and such. Oh. Yeah, you're going to stop because I'm going to make you stop, jackass. This way, right? So I'll go over here, and this is this is generally how I back in uh, if there's a wide enough lot like this. But I, I'll usually pull in and up off to the right because I have I, I have a left-hand drive vehicle, right? So I pull in, I go past the spot, I go diagonal to it, make sure I'm nice and straight, poke my head out the window. Put it in reverse, and I turn into it. You see how my trailer's cutting, cutting now? Turn into it. Let the trailer, let the trailer do the bendy part, and just start straightening it out. And this is really just practice on this part, on when to straighten out, when to turn it out, and it's looking pretty good. I'm a little bit out on that. I'm going to pull forward. Cut it the other way so I can... I want this side inside the white line. And there it is. Alright. Drop the trailer, and just good work because I had one percent. I damaged one point six percent of their pallets, jackasses. And I didn't level up, son of a gun. All right, so uh, so yeah, there it is. There's the there's my quick trip to uh, to Liege from Manchester. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the chat. I uh, hope you enjoyed the delivery. Uh, as soon as I'm fully recovered, we can definitely stay tuned for a whole lot more content, a whole lot more variety, hopefully, and, uh, you know, just a whole lot more good times, because really that's what, that's what gaming is all about, is having fun and having a good time. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. I only get one opportunity every video to... Uh, 
to have fun with you. So hope you had fun. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above, or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.